Hello dear students how are you I hope you all are safe and healthy and I know you all are eagerly waiting for today's lesson Dear students before we begin with today's topic look at these images Yes look at these images Wow Do you have the one with you It's a piggy bank Now look at these pictures I know you have seen your parents and elders keeping their valuables in these lockers safes and almiras Okay now tell me when we go to market to buy different things what do we need how can you get an ice cream a pencil box a goodie a toffee or a chocolate from a shopkeeper what do we keep in our piggy bank and what do our elders keep in their lockers banks safes and almiras yes tell me the answer to all these questions is money money is very important and we need to keep it safe in order to do any business or day to day transaction we need money in order to buy different things we need to pay money to the seller it is a medium of exchange in the form of coins and bank notes we can also say that every country has its own currency in the form of notes and coins let's have a look at these coins have you seen these coins these coins were used in the olden times by the kings and the rulers they used to mint the coins with their names embossed on it the coins used in the earlier times were made of different metals such as gold silver copper nickel etc later with the time the coins took different shapes even some had holes in them and some were without holes ask your grandparents what kind of coins have they seen they may say that they have used the coins like that of two annas one annas half anna and so on you can see these coins in the pictures now look at this coin it is of 25 paise 25 paise is 1/4 of a rupee and this coin is of 50 paisa it is half of a rupee these coins are difficult to find in present time dear friends you all might be thinking why am i talking about coins and banknotes so let me tell you today we are going to begin with a new chapter taken from your book maths magic of grade 1 This is the 12th chapter of your book and the name of the chapter is money. Yes, the name of the chapter is money. See the coins in the image. These are currently used in India. 
Can you look at the image? The first image is that of a one rupee coin. We can see both the sides of this one rupee coin, the tail, and this is the head. Look here, it's a two rupee coin. Look at the head of the coin and the tail of the coin. Look here, it's a five rupee coin. Look at the head. And look at its tail part. Another image is of a 10 rupee coin. The head and the tail. Also, when we play any match, we flip the coin and we ask, which side of the coin do you want? Heads or tails? When the empire flips the coin, and the captains of the two teams choose their head or tail. I hope you have seen this. Now look here. These are currency notes. They are currently used in our country. Look here. It's a 5 rupee note. It's a 10 rupees note. It's a 20 rupees note, 50 rupees, 100 rupees. And also, we have a note whose value is 2000 rupees. Look at this image. It is the note with the highest value of 2000. Now, let's move ahead and Try to do this exercise. Here we have two coins. The value of these coins is that of 1 rupee and 2 rupees. Now make the given amount using different combinations of these coins. The first amount is 1 rupee. For this we can use a 1 rupee coin to have this amount. Next is 2 rupees. Yes, for this we can use 2 coins of 1 rupee each. And another way is we can use a coin of 2 rupees. Now, we have to make the amount equal to 3 rupees. For this, we can pick 3 coins of 1 rupee each. Another method is, we can use 1 coin of 2 rupees and 1 coin of 1 rupee to make the amount equal to 3 rupees. Similarly, in order to make the amount equal to 4 rupees, the first way is we can use 4 coins of amount 1 rupee. Another method is we can use 2 coins of value 2 rupees. And another method is we can use 2 coins of 1 rupee and 1 coin of 2 rupees. Now let's try to make this amount equal to 5 rupees. In order to make 5 rupees, we can use 5 coins of 1 rupee each like this. And we can also use two coins of rupees two each and rupees one. It will also make the amount equals to five rupees.
another method is we can use three coins of one rupee each and one coin of two rupees. Lastly, in order to make five rupees, we can also straight away use a coin having a value of five rupee. It means one coin with a value of five rupees. Similarly, try this combination to make the amount equal to six rupees. We can use six coins of value one rupee each. Try to form other combinations using the coins of value one rupee, two rupees and five rupees to make the amount equal to six rupees. I hope you can try this. Now look at this picture. It contains different articles. Discuss with your cousin, with your brother, sister or friends and try to guess the price. For example, the price for this bat has been given. It is rupees 20. Try to guess the price of this trousers, of this book, of this broom, the wristwatch, the kite and these colors. Try and you can write this in your notebook. Now look around and try to find the things in your room having the value near to rupees 20. Check out, look around and name these articles. Also, try to check out the things having value more than rupees 100. Try to check. Yes, look around and name them. I hope you can find many such things in your room having the value near to rupees 20 and with the value more than rupees 100. Now let's try this interesting activity. In the given two columns we have the image of the coin and the value of the coin. In column A we have the image and in column B we have the value. Try to match the correct image with its correct value. Look at the first image, the second, the third image and the fourth one. And the values given are 5 rupees 10 rupees, 1 rupee and 50 pesa. Try to match the first image. Yes, this image is of 1 rupee coin. Very good. The second one. Yes, it is of 50 pesa. The third one. This is the image of a 10 rupees coin. And the last one. It is a 5 rupees coin. Now look here. Here are certain images of the notes. Arrange these images starting from the highest value note to the Lowest value note. Look at these images. The first image is of a 10 rupees note. The second, third, the fourth, which is a 2000 rupees note. The fifth, the sixth and the last one. Let's try to arrange. Yes. Which is the note 
having the highest value it is a fourth image with the value of 2000 rupees that is the highest value then we have a note with the amount of 100 rupees then 50 rupees 20 rupees 10 rupees 5 rupees and the last with 1 rupee I hope you all have enjoyed these exercises so dear students today we learned about different coins their values and their different combination to make a given amount I know now you can easily go to market and can buy things for yourself by calculating the right amount using different notes and coins. Try to collect 5 coins of 2 rupees, 5 coins of 1 rupee and 5 coins of 10 rupees. Try to find the total amount. I hope you all have enjoyed today's lesson. We will meet again with another interesting video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and happy learning. And do not forget to save your money in your piggy bank. Thank you.